G'day reefers, I'm Cam the Fish Guy. Thanks for watching Gallery Aquatica TV. Today we're doing an update on one of the tanks that we installed from last year. It was our marine lab installation. There's actually two tanks and we're currently in front of the frag tank. So we'll have a look at this and how it's progressing. And then we'll go and have a look at the eight foot display tank and see how that's looking. So we've been called in today, partly just to do a bit of a checkup on the tanks, make sure that everything is running as it should be, to make sure the water chemistry is okay, and that um, just to finish off a couple of little jobs. One of the things we will be doing today is installing a dosing pump on this frag, uh, on the frag tank. And we've got an acrylic dosing shelf that we're going to install here. We're going to put a dosing pump on it and hook it up and that way we'll be able to feed some calcium and buffer into the system. We've also seen the, uh, the skimmer and it's not skimming as well as we'd like so we'll have to have a look at that and see what's going on. It's probably just an air intake problem um, but really today just a bit of a checkup but so far everything is looking really good. We've mounted our dosing pump and we've got the power feeding to it so we can now uh, set the vessels up and the tubing running from the vessels to the pump and to the tank. So this is our tubing and it's going to feed through a hole in the back of the, the, uh, the side here and our vessels are going to be in the cupboard next door. So it should be a pretty neat setup. So we have a dosing pump set up. We've got the tubes running from the pump into the sump. And we're just gonna fill up some vessels with our supplements. As I always do, I'm going to pull the label off. Okay, number three. So I'll do this with the other ones and then we'll have a look at it in the cupboard. We've got our containers, uh, our dosing vessels set up, clearly labelled with the supplements that are in each of them, component one, two, and three. And now I'm just gonna prime the line so that the solution travels up through the tube, no air bubbles, which is good. And we'll see it. This is number one. This is our calcium supplement. And is dosing into the tank, which is what we want. Do that with number two and number three. We'll then put these uh, tubes on a nice little rack so that they're um, more secure than as we've got them at the moment. Okay, that's our buffer feeding in. Now number three, magnesium. So we've noticed that the skimmer isn't skimming properly. There's hardly any bubbles in the body of the skimmer. So this indicates to me that there's probably an issue with the air intake. So the first thing I'm gonna check, and it may have been tuned incorrectly, but I'm gonna open up this air intake. All right, so straight away, this is the problem. These skimmers skim really well, and usually there's a, well, as it is now, a really uh, nice, fine amount of bubbles. Um, so someone's just uh, 
over uh, tune over tuned this. They've, they've tuned the air intake down, so that's all it took to fix. Um, and one of the things that I'm really happy about is that our air intake actually couples onto the 25 mil or one inch plumbing that we've got. So that is a very nice and neat way to have our air intake. So that's pretty much it for this tank. Um, we've installed the dosing pump, we've fixed the skimmer, um, everything's running well. So we'll go and have a look at the display tank. So it's been a while since we've seen this tank and since we were here last, some more corals have gone in, a few more fish and I'm really happy with how everything is going. So we'll just have a bit of a look at the tank and then we'll check out the filtration and see how that's going as well. So I'm really happy with the pulp extension of all these corals. Everything's really open and looking good. So the filtration, all right, so this great white is absolutely cranking. That's the perfect dilution of waste. It's exactly what we want to see. The refugium's also looking very good. Of course, this tank has had a lot more biomass and so feeding more nutrients, allowing the, the keto morpha to grow well. Uh, our plumbing's all looking good. We've still got our board with controllers up there. I think I'll probably look at the flow. It's looking like uh, we could maybe increase the speed of the octo pulse a little bit. We'll check out the other side. We've got the auto top up over here. Okay. So this was our, we've got our chillers running at 25 degrees, which is perfect. We need to do something with this dosing pump. At the moment, it's just sitting on the RO reservoir. So we want to raise that so it's easier to get in and fill the RO reservoir. But uh, anyway, everything is looking really good. So um, that's pretty much it for our update of our Marine Lab installation. Hope you've enjoyed watching it. And um, feel free to share our videos and hit the like button. So thanks for watching and happy reefing. So that's our video for today. If you enjoyed it, hit the like button, hit the subscribe as well. We'll be putting out videos every week showing a, a new tank with new products. There's going to be lots in all the videos. I'm Cam the Fish Guy and keep on reefing.